Com. Now, this poor old guy, Ted, folks, um, I, I checked the email during the break. It happens. Rush, instead of joking with the guy, why didn't you spend some time and honestly try to inform him? Why didn't you take the time to try to educate him? Ladies and gentlemen, I have been doing this for 23 years. The Ted's of the world are not to be informed or educated. It's not. They are to be defeated. Ted is not open to being informed or educated. People like Ted serve an entirely different purpose. They are, they are, they are mere foot soldiers. That's all they are. They are malcontents. They're unhappy. Whatever. The life has not treated them well. They don't matter to anybody or anything or to themselves. They're bitter. It's, frankly, I don't have a time... And believe me, you don't have the interest. Ted, th these people are so uninformed and stupid, I wouldn't know where to start. I, I, I couldn't lower myself to his level to even get started on an education. Pro for, for example, the guy claims to have a journalism degree, yet he doesn't know the difference between private and public property, as is evidenced by his first question. Why can't you pitch a tent in front of Walmart? Why can't you do this and that? But why can't you in, pub in, in, uh, in, in say, Zuccotti Park? He doesn't understand the difference in public and private property, for one thing. This idea that corporations aren't people, that corporations are the focus of evil, do you realize that, that, is, that is robotic? That is something programmed to these kids robotic. Corporations are so powerful that tobacco corporations can't advertise, the oil companies can't drill, the health insurance companies cannot sell across state lines, and Boeing can't even open a factory in South Carolina. And yet the corporations have all of, these pow all of this power. No, we're, 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 we're dealing there with, with, a, with a pure, unadulterated foot soldier who's not, he has no desire to know that he's wrong. People like that have to be defeated. This is why, uh, and the people they vote for have to be defeated. That's why I don't respond well to all this touchy-feely, we've got to compromise. I don't know. That's why I asked him. When I asked him, what is it that really bothers him? He didn't give me a personal answer. He gave me some rote that he's got four jobs and his community's falling apart. What were the four jobs? Well, he's a bouncer at a gay club, and then he's a male model, and he's a sub substitute teacher. All right, folks, <laughs> I forget what the fourth one was. Oh, wait tables. Wait tables. Uh, that's not somebody serious about working. Uh, it's just been around this long enough to know that, that, that those, those people are the, the frontline foot soldiers. Those are the people ancient Rome went out and took the first bullets. That's what they were there for. These are the maleducated, ill-educated, uneducated, useful idiots. And they are made to think that they have value and worth, and, and worth by being sent out on these, uh, giving these marching orders. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, Barney. Do I have a Barney Frank? Yeah, I got this. Do I want to play Barney Frank? Some? No, let's stick with the phones. Where are we going next on the phones? So just give me Jose in Miami. Jose, welcome to the uh, EIB Network. Great to have you here, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, pleasure to speak with you. Um, I just wanted to comment on the deep chasm that we have in this country today. How can constitutional conservatives uh, ever compromise with statists? Uh, it is wholly illusory uh, that compromise is even a, a prospect. I mean, we have such divergent uh, views of the way uh, this country should be. I know. That's exactly right. I, I have... Um... Uh, examples, conversations I've had. I was talking about it earlier in the program with earnest people who are not nearly as immersed. And by the way, these are smart, educated, and very successful business people, but they're not immersed in ideological politics. And they urge me, we've just got to find a way for the, for the country to, to, to get along. We've got, there has to be compromise. And then they cite things like the Founding Fathers compromised on slavery or what have you, which is new to me. I always thought the left hated 
the way well, slav- slavery ended well. up in the Constitution. But at any rate, you're exactly right. The, 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 the founding fathers that compromised had a single objective. We don't share any objectives with the Democrats. We don't share any of you're right. The statists and constitutionalists have nothing in common. Where is there any area of compromise? And furthermore, why is it always up to us to compromise? Why is it never said that they have to? Precisely. It's always us compromising and the, you know, the old uh, cliche, them uh, moving the goalposts. But it is what it is. Uh, where do we go? I mean, there's no... There's nothing left to compromise on. It's either we uh, live within our means or we go bankrupt. It's a very simple uh, choice, a very si- simple dichotomy. Which, which fork in the road are we going to take? Well, but it's even worse than that. It, it, it's worse than that when you're talking about the, 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 either pay our bills or uh, go bankrupt. The The fact of the matter is that the people who are on the, on the side taking us bankrupt are not doing this mistakenly or accidentally. They have an agenda in taking the country bankrupt. They have a reason for it. That is one of the goals, is to break this country as it was found. I just don't know where there is to compromise. We're, we're, not, we're not dealing with people who are good-intentioned, well-intentioned, but sadly mistaken. We're dealing with full-fledged leftist statist ideologues who have an agenda oriented around those beliefs. These are not people who are just wrong about how to have a great country. So the, this whole notion of, of, of compromise to me is a trap, and it is also it's an insult because it's thrown out there in such a way as to make us sound like we are the rigid, closed-minded, unbending problem. And all we are, people who want to save the country, as it was founded, as the greatest country in the history of humanity, for those who will follow us as residents of this country, as citizens of this country. And I don't know where the compromise is on that. Okay, we will agree. We'll, 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 we'll let to destroy the country in 50 years. How about that? Making you 